To celebrate my recent birthday, my wife bought me a nose hair trimmer. Sadly, I not only received the present, I was actually grateful for it. I needed one. I'm 49. My birthdays were a lot more fun in Amherst in the 1960s. My mom, with four kids, had birthday parties down to a science. We didn't go to Chuck E. Cheese's or a play space. We played Bang the Pot in the backyard. Bang the Pot was Mother's strange combination of pin the tail on the donkey and a piñata. She'd put a metal kitchen pot on the lawn, stick a prize under it, and have a blindfolded party-goer try to locate it by wandering around, whacking on the ground with a big wooden spoon. My father shot these birthdays on his hand-cranked Kodak movie camera, and Bang the Pot was always the film's highlight. Dad, many consider you the preeminent backyard birthday party cinematographer of the 1960s. Yeah. Apparently, Dad could never capture enough of the action. We have hours of Bang the Pot footage, and frankly, it's not always appreciated. Larry Urban, a friend of Dad since their school of practice kindergarten days, not only lived through some of those parties, but he has been forced to relive them. First in a darkened room with Dad's old Bell and Howell film projector, then on videotape on a TV screen, and now digitally on a computer. It's little wonder Larry has a fear of new technology. I always thought that Bang the Pot was some strange creation of my mother's. None of the other kids' moms played it. But those of you of German heritage already know better. In the old country, they call it Topschlagen. Top is a bucket or a pot, and Schlagen is banging. My grandmother used to do it, and so uh, that's what we did when you children were young, too. Chris, you're my younger brother. Would you say that Bang the Pot was a game of skill? Oh, sure. It took a, it took a lot of skill to, to be able to find that pot after being spun around. I used to set up a grid and kind of try to go north-south and east and west until I honed in on the uh, pot. Many of the times you could see that the kids, particularly Christopher, could look through or would adjust his blindfold, which made it much easier to find. I'm sad to say, bang the pot is not a tradition we passed on to our own kids. Kids today would no more elect to have a birthday party in the backyard than they'd want to watch Commander Tom after school instead of playing Guitar Hero. But when I turned 50, I wouldn't mind my mom blindfolding me for one more shot at a prize. I just hope it's not another nose hair trimmer. This is Jim Nolan.